Hey guys, this is Chris with 30daysofconcealment.com and right now I just got another holster um, today in the mail. I actually just did an unboxing of the Smart Carry and I actually ordered a bunch of holsters to, to review for you guys so I could see the different um, um, you know, different versions and also I'm giving you my first impression like literally my first impression of uh, some of these guns because uh, I, I haven't even tested them, I haven't tried them and by the way what we're doing now is the the uh, kangaroo carry if you can see that and they're out of Utah, they shipped really fast this thing was was um, let's see um, $31 free shipping and they are at uh, deepconceal.com and let's just take a look here all right, and this is the waist size of medium, 35 inches to 39 inches, which is the chest size. Soft shoulder carry holster, most small medium, most small medium frame auto revolvers, maximum carry, adjustable deep conceal, blah blah blah. All right, so and what we have here is this is a soft soft shoulder holster and will conform to your body after use. The pocket of the holster should rest under the armpit opposite the drawing hand. Place the wide band around the chest, just under the pecs at the diaphragm. Adjust comfort fit and place arm through one inch shoulder strap. Warning, cold wash only, mild soap, no bleach. Okay, so there's a little logo that's there. That's where the gun fits in. And again, empty gun, empty magazine. Okay, I just want to do a little test fit here. Oops. This is like the, uh, I believe it's the, like, there's like a, what they call an air marshal, which is for larger firearms, supposedly. Can't see that. But that is what it um, looks like right there. Okay, so we're going to do a little dance here and see. And you guys are going to see me kind of make a fool of myself and try to put this on um, and not look like a total idiot. But... <laughs> okay, not quite as much instructions on this one as the other one, but it should be pretty self-evident, I hope. So I'm going to take the holster out. I hope this is the right hand, which is what I ordered. Okay, so this is going to be from my right, right below the pecs, underneath the like a bra for guys. It's going to look real good in the locker room, guys. <laughs> Have to practice. Okay. Alright. It's the Sigma SW9VE. It's not bad, actually. <laughs> I like that. And let me just go ahead and throw on a shirt here and see what my my printing looks like. You know, I don't think that the thing is that I'm trying to conceal carry a weapon, which is not going to be a first choice for a conceal carry. Um, like this, this little butt, this just the this little inch is always what ends up printing and sticking out in some of my old other holsters um, which is a bit annoying on on where you're specifically concerned about printing um, you know daily carry when you tuck in a shirt something like that that last little inch of the gun is really where a compact is going to um, really come into play there okay so let's adjust it oh, this is actually kind of cool okay, this would not be a good shirt for <laughs> drawing this weapon so much and actually you could Let's 
see that. Let's try to see if I get any. I mean, walking around, definitely not a problem. Okay. And that's it, if you can see that. Right now, if we look at where the gun is, it's right there. For, um, okay. And if I were to draw, that would be. You know what I'm doing? Actually, this what's happening right now is I'm having to, like, I'm having to push the gun farther to my side then it's harder to draw because I have to actually get my hand over the thumb brake. But <laughs> imagine if you lift it up and someone saw, <laughs> they saw you wearing this. <laughs> that would require some explaining to do. Uh, okay, so anyways, the way it is now, I'm trying to keep the butt of the gun from printing, so I'm having a tendency to push it back, which makes it hard to reach the thumb brake. And I can't really get over it. Um, yeah, and if I was like a fat, a fat bastard, there's no way I could. <laughs> there's no way I could do this. Um, okay, if I had to get it from an easier reach position, like a here. Okay, then you see how like I'm fucking. I have a an odd shaped protrusion coming from my shirt here. Okay, so what can we learn from this? If this gun, the base of it was a compact or a gun that was one inch smaller, you could definitely, it would be really, really easy and really good to get a, um, a weapon right here. Okay? Because everything but the butt, that last inch, print, um, doesn't print. Okay, so again, the signals are not a small gun. They're not a huge gun either. They're not like a, you know, freaking full-size 1911. But um, they're not really super small. They're not a daily carry gun. If you just had a little bit smaller, um, you could do that. I mean, you could carry daily carry um, a signal, but you'd really, you know, you'd want some sort of a, you know, um, holster uh, outside the waistband. Maybe are going to be the most convenient. I think that's my initial interpretation of it. But again, this is Chris from 30 Days of Concealment. You saw it here first. I may do a follow-up video on this just to see if I am doing something wrong or it's somehow adjustable. Um, I honestly think the holster is cool. Uh, again, that is what it looks like. And uh, uh, just for this gun, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm basically printing a pretty good amount there. All right, that's it. Chris, 30 Days from Concealment.com. 30 Days of Concealment.